I just don't have the energy for this. I am unsubscribing from this drama. Hello, my fellow perimenopausal women and also perimenopausal dermatologists here. And I'm here to tell you, if you're dealing with chin hairs or oily skin and acne prone skin, and you feel like you're back in high school, you are not alone. And no, you're not going crazy or imagining this is really happening. And here's what's really happening. As estrogen levels drop during perimenopause, the androgens like testosterone become a little bit more dominant. And that shift can lead to increased oil production, clogged pores, and yes, unfortunately, a little bit of facial hair as well. My favorite over-the-counter active ingredients to deal with all of these are things like azelaic acid, niacinamide, and retinoids. Retinoids are the goat. But if your over-the-counter treatments are not really working, it could be because underlying cause is actually hormones. And please see your board-certified dermatologist because we prescribe things like spironolactone, which is an anti-androgen medication that works so, so well. And you can get two birds with one stone. Not only does it treat facial hair. It also treats hormonal cystic acne. At a higher dose, it can even help with the hair growth up here. So you're going to minimize your oil production, minimize your hormonal cystic acne, cut back on chin hair, and get more hair up here. It's a no-brainer.